Today, me and Butters are going to Texas for the first time. Stick around to see how I eat and avoid overeating and binging on vacation. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me because when you get any other sponsorship, they tell you what you can or can't say, and I don't like that. So if you would like to support this small channel, hit the link below and support my small business, Proto Bakery, where the cake donuts have 10 grams of protein and no chalky aftertaste. I am an ex-fat chick who wanted to create something that my past fat self would actually eat. And I drink this with a big old glass of almond milk for dessert almost every night. So if you're interested, click the link below. Thank you guys for all the support. Today, me and Butters are traveling to Texas for the first time. Yep, it's little dude's first time in the skies. I was very worried, but he did absolutely fantastic. We did practice for a few months with his crate so it wouldn't be too scary on the plane. All I did was keep the crate in the living room and feed him treats inside of it. Eventually, he would just kind of chill in there. He would even fall asleep as well. And that's exactly what he did on the plane. Just fell asleep. The lady next to me didn't even know he was there until someone complimented me on how good my little baby was. Thank God. And just like that, before I knew it, we were in Austin, Texas, and Betters got to meet his very large cousin, Link. My mom wanted to get me some Texas barbecue and fatten me up and went to a place called Cooper's. Anyway, we got sausage, brisket, beef, ribs, along with macaroni, potato salad, and pecan pie. And I have never had pecan pie before, so I was excited to try that. And then we took our food to go and went to my mom's house with our food so I can eat all the meat in front of the TV while I watch Bob's Burger. My family and I love you, but you're terrible. You're all terrible. But first, we wanted to introduce little five pound butters to the almighty, almost 200 pound giant, Link. Yeah, he was uh, freaked out. But after going on a walk, some smelling and peeing on the same bushes, they tolerated each other. <laughs> Now Link is a celebrity in this town. Wherever he goes, people want a picture with him. Okay children, throughout this video, I want you to count how many times people give love to Link and ignore Butters. Here's one. Yeah, that's helping her. <laughs> <laughs> <Knocks> over everything. <laughs> count the rest. Now it's time for us to eat. I forgot Butter's little bowls, but he's five pounds. It was pretty simple for my mom to find some appropriate size bowl so that he could also eat his food. This is my serving of food. Oh my gosh, Cooper's was amazing. Honestly, I've been craving it since I left Texas, but I could absolutely tell my stomach would hurt if I ate too much. So I made sure to give me some small portions, drink a lot of water, and don't even get me started on that pie. I could have eaten the whole thing, like a whole ass pie. I wish we got more. I felt sugar got injected into my veins. But this was my serving because you know your girl's a sugar addict, so I needed to calm myself, calm the tits. Think about what I would feel like after I ate too much, and the answer is I would feel like shit. So I didn't do that. And I'm glad I tried it, but I also am glad that I didn't overdo it. Balance, people, balance. Later that night, we went to PetSmart. Butters sporting his cowboy hat, so no one would suspect that we were Californians. I saw these huge rawhide bones, and Link seems intrigued by the perfectly sized treat, so I had to just get him one, and of course, something for Butters while everyone pet Link and ignored him. This cat knows that that dog is trouble. And Butters is basically a cat, so this was pretty fitting. All right, this is getting pretty sad. He's got a hat on and everything, and they didn't even look at him. But then I noticed something, something. <laughs> Just adorable. <laughs> And then what a surprise, someone actually noticed Butters and he even got a treat. And okay, they're right back to Link. That's cool. It's fine. He's just an adorable little ball of fluff. But yeah, settle for the one that's gonna slobber all over you. <laughs> so, I know, I'm like, oh, he's probably have a big dog. So my mom loves to keep the house around 75 degrees, um, holy 
No fans, no nothing. If you missed my I hate summer video, watch it. I don't need to go into detail on how much I hate being hot, but I always sweat in anything above 70 degrees. The absolute perfect temperature that nobody can fight me with because it's a fact is 65 degrees. It is the best degrees unless it's lower, but anything higher is absolute ass, sweaty ass. And that's a fact, you can find it in the Bible, okay? So we went to Walmart to get me a fan so I would not melt. And Link had to stay inside the car because of his big fat butt. Butters fit perfectly in the car and without Link, people noticed him, especially this lady. What's her name? It's Butters. Butters? Yeah. <laughs> well, you just precious Butters. <laughs> she really loved Butters and his evil plan to get all the attention was completed. Just kidding, he hated it. He prefers people to just give him a treat and leave him alone and let me give him affection. He won't bite, as far as I know. He hasn't yet. But this lady was very nice. She gave him a cardboard box so his feet wouldn't go through the holes and it really made her day to be able to pet butter. So I'm happy he allowed her to pet him. So I got my fan, then got back home to do adorable things. For dinner, I had a second plate of barbecue and tons of water. The next morning, I was ready for more water and walking. I was so seated the previous day, I was ready to move. And my mom had a treadmill, so I got to walk 10 miles while Butters did whatever he was doing. We also got a visitor, he was large. Butters loves the backyard, but had to stay on a leash because he can fit through the fence and there's coyotes, and I would rather not see my dog get ripped to shreds and brutally murdered. <laughs> Lincoln Butters are definitely starting to get a little closer and closer. After my workout and having the dogs play outside, it's time to eat. Before I got there, my mom asked me what groceries that I wanted so that I could make food there because she knows I like to live a certain type of lifestyle. And so she got me some basic food. And my plan for this trip was to eat healthy through the day and have one cheat meal, usually at night because that's when I like my cheat meals because we're done with everything where it's at home, looking ugly and I can be fat on the couch. So all day I would eat 90% lean ground beef, rice and veggies with water and she also got me grapes. Then that that night it was time to go shopping for my sister-in-law because she's gonna poop out a little bundle of joy and they are dog friendly so Butters got to go. I didn't think I would be this excited to buy baby things but oh my gosh I was so excited. They had so many cute little things like this fucking baby neck pillow. Do babies need a neck pillow? Is this what they use on the airplane? They have a miniature, th this is so cute, I wanna buy it. I wanna buy everything for my future nephew. No expense is too much for my nephew. What is this? Is this, is this being an auntie? <laughs> anyway, I was buying everything that I thought was even slightly cute. Little socky things, this onesie with these little scraggly looking feet. Look at these tiny little feet. Is my nephew's feet gonna be this tiny? Cause I'ma kiss them. I'ma kiss those tiny feet. And of course I had to go to the dog area, but I didn't get Butters nothing, because he got enough toys, he spoiled. And for some reason, when I was passing by the painting areas, I was thinking of Yoshi. I felt like I needed to get more things for my sister-in-law, so we went to Walmart and bought more. And again, I just kept thinking of Yoshi. I have no clue why. We also went to this little candy store we passed by in Old Town and I got some chocolate pretzels and some nutty chewy bar thing and I absolutely hated the pretzel one. But I liked the pecan chew thing, 10 out of 10. So after a day of eating all ground turkey and rice and veggies, it was time for my cheat meal and we ended up getting 600 degree pizza and it was good. Originally I wanted a burger but everything was closed because we were shopping at Wally's World. Anyway, I had one slice of pizza and an ounce of chips and it was fine because Pizza is not a juicy burger and hot Cheetos. After dinner, we broke out that big ass rawhide and it weighed more than butters. We let him sniff it for a bit so we can see what real dogs get to eat. And then we gave it to Link, the king, while butters watched. So the next day, same thing for food. I eat rice and burger meat all day and then started decorating for my sister-in-law's booming baby shower population tons. Just kidding, just us, because we don't know anybody in Texas. So population, three humans and two dogs.
Shit, my mom. There's my sister and her <laughs> butt. Wow, why did you do that? <laughs> and buddies. Stay over there, stay. Oh, you're so cute. So we got all the decorations up and then it was time for the soon-to-be mama to come out. Oh, the soon-to-be woman of honor. Here she comes. Coming out and pregnant. Here she comes. <laughs> Jessica absolutely loved it and it was so nice to see her smile and I hope she felt loved and special because she is. I don't get along with my brother and honestly it says a lot if the ex-daughter-in-law is living with the mother-in-law without the brother. Mm -hmm. Anyway, staying positive, I feel like I lost a brother but gained a freaking bomb ass sister and she's shorter than me, which makes me the tall one. <laughs> I am superior! So as Jessica rocked in the rocking chair my mom got her so she can rock a by the baby to sleep, we asked her, what would you like to eat? Just tell us and we're gonna go get it. And she said, ice cream. Done, get in the car, let's go. We went to Three Star Candy and I think I got some type of birthday cake, I don't know, it was sugar, so it was good to me, I love sweets. And of course, once again, Link is the showstopper and Butters is forgotten. Maybe he should have worn the hat. We were right by a place called Round Rock Donuts, so I bought some to bring home to my boyfriend. I got all the small cake donuts and the cinnamon roll. I still can't believe I kept a whole box of freaking cake donuts in my room all night and did not touch those bad boys until I got home and shared them with my boyfriend because before, honey, I would have whipped those suckers out with some milk at like 3 a.m. and been done. Who is she? Not a binger no more. Anyway, back to the Texas story. We went to an Asian restaurant. I just got beef and veggies and gyozo, and it was absolutely delicious. But my stomach did hurt after I think I pushed it with the ice cream, plus all the fat and oily beef and gyoza. With the extremely large portion size, I didn't leave any of it. It was so good. And now it's time for presents. Jessica loved all of her gifts and smiled, but occasionally she would open mine and be like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like, you were like, look, right there. <laughs> I think they're like nipple somethings for the baby. I don't know. All I know is that nipples are important to new moms. So you gotta preserve those things. And then the very next day, me and Butters were on our way back to sunny San Diego. Right when I got to the airport, I really missed my family, but super happy I got to see them. And the next time I go to Texas, I will have a little nephew that I can teach to cosplay, right? They're ready to play right when they come out of the vagina. Uh, not sure how this works, but I'm expecting to be able to play and I'm expecting to be able to put makeup all over his face, right? You can do that to like a five day year old. It's okay, good. Anyway, I hope this gives you guys some insight on how I eat on vacation. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. I'm gonna have more of these on this channel and shorter ones on my second channel, so subscribe there too. Thank you so much for watching and coming with me to Austin, Texas virtually, and I will see you guys next time. Thought that I knew better Keep falling for your innocence Acting like you're into me I know this is hopeless Moving in slow motion Trying to control my thoughts But I can't stop our body talk This is a no-go I just can't take hold This is a danger zone Back up and get me home This is a no-go I just can't take